you can use it as if you're using a book. It's so portable. You can sit in a comfortable chair and watch a uh, catch-up television program. You can write your emails on it. You can do all the things that you would do on a computer. But you can do it with freedom. You don't have to plug it in, uh, charge the batteries up, they run all day. And it's so easy to use. I gave it to my wife, who was not really interested in computers, and it was difficult to get it back again, so I had to fight over, over who had it. Well, I chose a poem for my app uh, for a very good reason, because I, for a time I was a teacher, and I was aware that a lot of children didn't really hear much poetry in school, and I loved reading poems to children, because they enjoy them so much. And it really is tremendous enjoyment, especially funny poems. And this is a poem that I read in many schools, and I, I wrote it really probably with schools in mind or with children in mind. So a lovely rhythm to it, and the children loved that rhythm. And some children read it too said, could you sing it again? They thought I was singing, but it was the rhythm of the poetry. And that's one of the things that poetry is about. And they loved it, especially when they got the scream at the end, and they had a lovely, delicious uh, thrill. And even second time through, because they always want to hear it again, second time through, it's still a thrill to hear the scream. Well, it is good for adults, and it isn't just for children, it's for adults too, um, because it's got a lot of interesting words in it, and it's got some funny pictures, and it's got some beautiful pictures by Joanna Trampton, uh, so it's, everybody can enjoy. But I think teachers might enjoy reading it to their classes as well, and I hope they will. I hope they'll have a great deal of fun with it, because that fun is what it's all about. <laughs> Pick a friend to take you through the house. A little ghost, or a vampire, a ghostly dog, a skeleton, or a knight in armour. Why don't you come in? to our house in the middle of the night you're going to get a terrible fright it's chock-a-block full of ghosts you see but whatever they do they can't scare me there are two little baby ghosts playing on the stairs A headless horseman saying his prayers. <laughs>